Um, but it's nice because, you know, I'm used to singing a song or doing a guest spot on a TV show, and it's wrapped up so quickly that you don't really get to exaggerate and, like, go deep into a story. And I think that's been the biggest excitement for me is to really mold these characters and, you know, figure out why they do the things they do and their motives. And um, it's been a really cool, challenging process. It's scary. It's really scary when you just walk into a new venture that you you know, have no experience with and no confidence. Um, you know, I feel really lucky that I've been successful doing a lot of different things and felt the benefits and the rewards of people liking it. Like, you know, being on stage and having people sing my songs back to me, you know, is the most rewarding thing. Or um, getting praise for doing a good job in a big movie or a small movie, it's all the same. Um, and then to put a book out, you know, something that's so out of my comfort zone was um, was huge, you know, to hear people be like, you know, I didn't want to give you much credit, but I love this book, you know, it's really good, and I can't wait to read the second and the third. It's like, it's just, it's an overwhelming feeling of relief and gratefulness, you know. It's always good to know that you did something and people like it. I don't know yet. I could know, which is just killing me. But um, it's only been my, my husband and I at all my doctor's appointments, and my doctor said to me the last time, he's like, you know, the next one's a big one, because he knew we wanted to find out the sex, and he's like, you can bring as many people as you want. I'm like, no way. So I just, you know, I want my mom and my sister to be there, and my husband, obviously. Um, so I'm just waiting for us to all be in the same city at the same time to go. But it's killing me. To know that I could already know is like torture. I'm very used to people being interested in my life. Um, not that I think it's that interesting on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, um, there's, there's a lot of, like, photographers constantly outside my house. And, and, you know, when I wasn't pregnant, it was one week it would be a lot of people surrounding me, following me every day, and I would have no idea why. You know, I'm not really a person that lives very publicly and um, does a lot of things that are talk worthy I guess um, but I, I think pe you know people want to see what I'm wearing or what I'm doing it's it, it's just our culture now it's like interesting to people for some odd reason and now that I'm pregnant it's definitely a lot more um, and it's weird you know it's it's kind of hard to deal with because being pregnant every day is is a little bit different you know sometimes you you're feeling great and sometimes you're just like could like cry at the drop of a hat <laughs> and um, and I don't I'm used to handling it, so I handle it as best as I can, I think. I keep getting that on Twitter, like, oh my god, I can't believe Hillary Duff's having a baby, like, I feel old. Um, but the truth is, is I'm very young, you know, and things in my life have happened very fast, so I guess why stop now, you know?